Texas has a rich history going back thousands of years. In tonight's Traveling Texas, Ann Harder takes us to an archaeological site that reveals Texas's earliest human inhabitants. Scientists have learned through the archaeology here at the Galt site, humans were here much earlier than first thought, 20,000 years ago as opposed to 13,500 years ago. And they're still trying to figure out exactly how these ancient people got here. Dr. Clark Wernicke is executive director of the Galt School of Archaeological Research. New discoveries lead them to believe the old story of an overland arrival by humans is out. You know, for a long time we thought that the Clovis culture, which is 12,700 to 13,500 years old, represented the first peoples in the Americas. Because it was the oldest thing we'd found. We know enough to know the old story is wrong. We just don't know enough yet to know exactly what the new story is. This site is really an important site. We have uh, 22 archeological cultures that you can find in Central Texas. We have all 22, including uh, as yet unnamed one that's between 16 and 20,000 years ago. And then of course we found a culture we didn't suspect was here below Clovis, something that was much older. So the first Texans were here 20,000 years ago. The Galt site is near the Bell and Williamson County line, not far from the town of Florence, and proved perfect for human life. When I first got here, I mean, it was August of 1999. It was mighty hot, and I, and I kept thinking, why would anybody live here? But uh, first of all, we, we have a lot of water resources here. We're on the edge of the Edwards Plateau. Uh, which is where the bulk of water comes from, certainly in central Texas. In the early 1900s, the land belonged to Henry Galt, who found lots of arrowheads as he cultivated near Buttermilk Creek. For years, the general public could come and dig for those arrowheads. Later, Dr. Michael Collins bought this property to preserve it. It, it did a lot of damage to the archaeology. I mean, archaeologists are not Lara Croft or Indiana Jones. We're, we're CSI prehistoric. We look at all the clues in context to try and figure out what happened here. We're interested in human behavior, not artifacts. So removing artifacts from a site changes the story, just like any good mystery movie. But at deeper levels, archaeologists found a treasure trove of artifacts and evidence of an even earlier people. But one of the first things found here by a collector were two small stones with incised designs on it. And this is actually a cast of one. It's got an incised, uh, paired line grid on it. And he said he found the two of these things sitting like this in a little sandwich with an Alabates Clovis point in between them. Now Alabates is a type of rock that comes from Alabates National Monument. Uh, it's north of Amarillo, so it's a good 400 miles away from home. And a Clovis point is representative of that first named culture in North America. But this early people group doesn't have a name. There's no name yet. A one site is a data point. Cultures are patterns of human behavior. So I need to find another site like Galt before you can name a pattern. The Bell County Museum has a permanent exhibit on the Galt site and helps facilitate tours there so you can learn more. We've already basically disproven the old hypothesis. We haven't changed it yet in elementary schools. We have changed it in colleges. We're learning a lot about the other cultures here in Texas, just from the sheer quantity of stuff at a manufacturing site like this. The Galt site, unearthing a wealth of new information about the earliest people who lived right here in the heart of Texas. Now, if you'd like to take a tour, there are monthly scheduled tours organized by Bell County and Williamson County Museums. For more information, visit galtschool.org.